So welcome back. I'm Rob O'Brien. I work for Cloud for Good as a managed services consultant in the Salesforce ecosystem. However, my past life and my, one of my very big passions is a recruiter. I owned a temporary help company for 10 years. And so most of what I'm telling you today is from that perspective. And I'd like to briefly introduce my partner, Jean. Go ahead, Jean. Hi, I'm Jean Stoner. I'm a freelance career consultant. My background includes a 30-year career with Motorola and Human Resources. I was laid off in 2009, went through outplacement, and decided to become a professional outplacement coach. I've worked for large firms as well as small. Now I'm on my own, and I'm, bringing, I'm helping bring best practices about LinkedIn to you today, along with my partner, Rob. All right. Jean and I just want to take one moment and uh, put this in, the, in God's hands. We realize that this could be a difficult time for some of you. And for those of you that it is in a difficult time, it's always good to place things in God's hands. So, and so, Lord, where do I put my hope? My only hope is in you. It's from Psalm 39, 7. And we hope that uh, you will get comfort and information from this LinkedIn presentation we do today. So let's start with what today's purpose is. So what we hope that you're gonna take away from this is learn why LinkedIn is a search game changer. We're going to have you assess your current LinkedIn profile. Are you an all-star? We're also gonna help you edit your profile. We're gonna use LinkedIn activities for search strategy. We're gonna talk about the willowcreekneedsmet.org website for additional help. And we're hoping that you'll be prepared to pass this forward and help others. So what is the purpose of LinkedIn? You know, when I was back recruiting, there was no such thing as LinkedIn. Um, we would do things like go to chamber mixers. And so those were things that we did in person and we would go up and talk to several people. Well, LinkedIn, quite honestly, is the virtual version of that. So what LinkedIn is going to help you do is it's going to build a, your profile for an online presence. It's going to help you connect with other professionals or business associates and your professional contacts. And it's also going to help you network uh, for a job search or maybe even help you build your business. But LinkedIn does so much more. You can join groups and the advantage to joining groups is finding people with like-minded um, thoughts as you. One of the groups that I belong to is the first Lego League coaches group. And I've made really great business connections there because we all believe in this really cool, similar STEM program and it starts a conversation and then we find out we have other things in common. It also helps you find freelance gigs uh, by using the Pro Finder. You can also, before you go on a job search, uh, search market salary survey information, and you can find best practices for various things in the slide share area. Additionally, if you're using the paid version of LinkedIn, which I believe is about uh, 30 bucks a month, you have access to what's called LinkedIn Learning, which, which used to be known as Linda. And LinkedIn Learning can help you with things, as you can see in the slide here, by brushing up on your Excel, or maybe help you learn Google Analytics, or maybe uh, help you learn basics in Microsoft Office. It has a wide variety of information in it that's available to you. Let's talk statistics. So over 675 million users in 200 countries use this tool. There are 167 million people in the United States alone that are using this and 310 million people log in monthly. This, this product is owned by Microsoft. And did you know that two users join every second? So just think of how many people have joined since we've started this video. There are 20 million job postings, 51% of college graduates are using the tool. And as of 2017, 60% of unique visiting members access the online recruiting network via the mobile phone device. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why that's important in a little bit. Here's how it's a value to your, your job search tool. Recruiters spend, are spending more time on sites. That's how they're finding their people. And recruiters have to pay a premium price to access um, job, potential job applicants through LinkedIn. Most companies use at least one social media site, if not more than one, to recruit new hires. 
this is the really key statistic here. 97% focus of recruiters focus on LinkedIn to find their talent. That means you need to be here. This is the part where we were talking about why it's important to note that 60% of folks are accessing through mobile because recruiters are using mobile devices. The one thing I can tell you about recruiting is it's not a nine to five job. And so it's really convenient to have that little mobile device in your pocket and start looking for applicants while you're waiting for somebody to pick up from uh, a sporting event or something uh, on your off hours. So you need to make sure that whatever's showing up on that little mobile screen is click worthy and it makes the recruiter want to take the next step. Nexting. So what nexting is, is it's, it's proven that the average amount of time that pe people are spending with employers now is about five years. So you should constantly be updating and maintaining your LinkedIn profile to position you for that next position in that five-year period. Digital first, first impressions form online. How can you write your LinkedIn profile to ensure that you stand out to the reader? These are two things that you should be considering as you're building your LinkedIn profile and you should be pushing it forward and always maintaining it no matter what. Don't be afraid. I know sometimes this is a little overwhelming, but it's easy once your resume is done. Um, LinkedIn doesn't ask for any personal data, no social security number, no banking information. Your birthday is optional. Millions of job seekers are using this tool and it's a simple way to make yourself more visible and market yourself. And we're gonna pause here and um, have you get ready for the next section with Jean. And in the meantime, uh, if you have questions, um, I just wanna point out that we have resources coming up that will help you with those things. So we'll see you in a few minutes.